Howdy folks, it's the Creepy Kentuckian here with you from deadpit.com. Coming back with another review from a brand new Blu-ray that came out recently from our good friends at Arrow Films. It is about the leader, the cult icon himself, El Duce. This is a documentary that was recently finished after decades. It's the El Duce tapes. Uh, that recently came out from Arrow Video. From the late 80s through the mid-90s, The Mentors was kind of like a anti-authority punk. I think they were called Rape Rock. So, some crazy shit. Myself, personally, I'm not a fan of that type of music at all, but I was familiar with El Duce from the documentary from Nick Broomfield from the late 90s, Kurt and Courtney. He was probably the most colorful character in the whole documentary. And um, I do remember him from Jerry Springer as well. So the story with this is, this is home footage, like home video type footage, VHS stuff. So it doesn't really lend itself that much to Blu-ray, but there's more and more VHS source material coming out from different studios now. So I guess the story Ryan... Ryan Sexton was the filmmaker back in 1990 through 91. He was making a film. I think it was a student film and got permission to follow the mentors and El Duce around for a lot of their shows, post parties, stuff like that. Um, the, the student film or whatever it was intended to be never, you know, the, he sat on the tapes for like 30 years until recently in 2015, they began Rodney Asher and David Lawrence are technically the directors. So they pieced together that footage with other, they had a Jerry Springer footage. They had even a old WWF beginning of a WWF pay-per-view event as well. And just, you know, po political figures and stuff like that. And they meshed it all together to make just a really trippy, insane look into, you know, what was going on in the early to mid nineties. And it gives you an idea. I think they talked to El Duce's girlfriend, his sister, um, in addition to his bandmates. So the deal with this guy is, and again, this is a brand new release from um, Arrow Films has a slip cover and everything. It's pretty neat. Great artwork on this. But this guy was insane. The music that he made was just the most offensive type thing. Um, you know, Golden Showers, stuff like that. <laughs> Free Fix for a Fuck was one of their more popular songs, just to give you an idea. So, um, and he had like um, a lot of white supremacy meshed in there that was kind of just for gimmick, which is what he said in the documentary. But so the executioner hoods, that's kind of their calling card. You can see that on the cover there too. Um, just an insane individual, uh, you know, drunk pretty much all the time was homeless for a period of time as well. You know, he talks about living on the streets, moving back and forth with friends. Um, just a really, really interesting character, loved music Started off, believe it or not, making jazz fusion in the 70s. The character of El Duce, it was just kind of outrageous and kind of a gimmick. And he lived the gimmick. That's what we can say. You know, the El Duce tapes is out now from Arrow Video, Arrow Films in the U.S. I think it's out in the U.K. as well. They kind of release both at the same time. El Duce tapes, though, man, like, if you're a fan of music-based insanity documentaries and stuff like that, um, or just documentaries in general. This guy was crazy, and at the same time, it was entertaining as hell to watch. So I highly recommend this. Actually, John Carpenter on the back of this is dark and irresistible. Yeah, it does have a dark tone to it as well. I mean, some of the some of the slow brooding music that they play, like hypnotic music towards the end you know, or actually throughout most of the documentary, um, it sets a kind of a dark mood throughout. I mean, there's some fun stuff in here too, but 
El Duce, Eldon Hoke was his real name. He was just, uh, you know, kind of a depressed individual, um, had a lot of issues, and, let, you know, didn't live a very long life. Uh, you would not think by watching these videos, this guy was in his late 20s, early 30s by this point. It just, it's unbelievable, but that's what alcohol, you know, drinking six or seven 40 ounces a day will do to you, evidently. So... Lots of special features on this. Arrow does a great job with these releases. Just to give you an idea here. Um, I think all the stuff now, or at least the last batch of stuff that I've got from them, comes with the slip cover. Um, and then inside the slip cover, you get a booklet that tells the history of, of you know how all this came to be. These tapes were sitting around in the closet for 30 years and were never seen by anybody but you yeah you can read the whole story there um arrow does a great job with their stuff i cannot put them over enough this is you know and they're doing a lot of films that are kind of out of left field um a lot of movies that people don't know about this is i think this is brand new i don't think this had ever been out on anything <clears throat> i don't think this had ever been out on anything before so if you're interested, this guy is, you know, he's kind of up there with like uh, G.G. Allen. I don't know if he actually slung shit on people or anything, but he, you know, some crazy shit like pissing on stage, getting a blowjob on stage. Um, yeah. So anyway, um, if you're a fan of movies like, you know, Decline of Western Civilization, documentaries, stuff like that, this is right up your alley. So El Duce Tapes, check it out now at arrowvideo.com. I will put a link below if you uh, want to purchase it or check it out. Percentage of that will go towards Dead Pit. So we appreciate all your support. Um, lots and lots of stuff content-wise on the website. So if you're looking for some time to kill, deadpit.com. We did a screen retrospective that was almost two hours. We recently had a horror roundtable show that was another two hours and more stuff to come. So if you're into horror movies and just cult shit like the old DJ tapes, check us out. The podcast is everywhere. Amazon, Stitcher, Spotify, iTunes, of course, and deadpit.com. A special thank you goes out to our supporters on Patreon. The Patreon website has a complete archive of the Dead Pit Radio shows starting way back in 2005. In addition to all of the midweek shows archived, commentaries, all that good stuff. If you're interested and we appreciate all the support, go to www.patreon.com backslash into the dead pit. Tiers start as low as $1 per month.